As you know, the world of racing cars is huge. There are circuit races, drag races, rally races, endurance races, and uh, drift races. And in this case, I'm going to talk to you about one game which is focused in this discipline, drifting. And the game I'm going to review, it's called uh, Car X Drift Racing Online. As you know, I'm someone who's focused more in circuit races. So I don't know if I'm qualified enough to give you a complete and uh, exhaustive opinion uh, about it. But uh, I try anyway to be objective and fair to tell you if it's a bad or a good game. But also if it's an arcade game or a sim arcade or a field simulation. Ready? To evaluate the tires model I have to drive the car normally and uh, observe its reaction to see if uh, we are in front of an arcade game or if it wants to offer us uh, some simulation. Well, <laughs> I'll stop uh, your hopes uh, here. If you watch just the tires model we are in front of an arcade game. When you drive the car normally in time attack mode, unless you explicitly uh, want to drift, uh, the car feels stable and uh, you need uh, very few steering correction to keep the control of the car. You won't just uh, drift, uh, the understeer is present as well, of course, but after one, two laps, uh, you realize that tires physics are way simply fluid. If you start drifting, uh, this game uh, gives the best of it. It's extremely important to keep the good steering rotation and the right speed to successfully drift. If you are a beginner, you can still enable the steering assist uh, to drift. But uh, with all assists uh, disabled, it isn't easy to control the car while sliding. You need some practice. The use of handbrake is uh, definitely mandatory. And also the use of the clutch pedal is highly recommended in some cases. For example, when you want to wake up the engine if it goes uh, to low RPM, or uh, if you want to lock the rear wheels before a corner while dive shifting. Tire's temperature is absent. And I think the tire's temperature is a very important element to drift. But uh, tire's pressure is present, and uh, it has a decent influence on the grip tires deformation is present as well. So, as you can see, despite the arcade feelings, the game manages to give uh, a small dose of realism. But uh, watching just at the tires model, it isn't enough. We have to see the next elements to classify this game as arcade or sim arcade. Suspension are an important element in this game, since they have a great impact on drifting. For that reason, developers did a great work on both animation and the effects on the drive. The weight transfer is well reproduced, and also the bumps are well absorbed with soft suspensions. With stiffer suspensions, the car feels more precise, but also more nervous. So, Car X Drift Racing Online passed the suspension test. Car X Drift Racing Online doesn't have uh, any weather option. 
Obviously the track and air temperatures aren't available. Let's forget about the windy direction and speed. But uh, despite that, the game features different surfaces on tarmac or uh, snow ice, with an evident difference in terms of grip. Gravity system is okay. Car jumps feels uh, natural. Force feedback is quite approximate. You almost uh, can't uh, feel the track's imperfections and uh, it doesn't inform you pretty well about the weight transfers. In the option uh, you can just regulate the wheel rotation, the assist and uh, the amount of force feedback. In a game like this I think it's useless to talk about the slipstream, completely absent in any form. Card damages? No thanks. Setup? Yes, a lot. You can find a lot of elements between suspensions, brakes, transmission, engine, tires, and the best part is they have a huge impact on the drive. For people like me who loves to change and try all the elements, it's a paradise. And uh, for people who don't have any or little knowledge about it, don't worry. The game explains you with simple sentences how to set up the car. Cars are well differentiated in terms of weight and drivetrain. You can really feel the difference between a all-wheel drive and a rear-wheel drive. In fact, drifting with a all-wheel drive is way harder. Or a heavier vehicle has lower reaction compared to a light one. Talking about uh, aerodynamics. It's quite hard to evaluate uh, this element since I can't uh, set up the downforce and the game doesn't feature the slipstream and wind. So I assume uh, it isn't present. Same for brake and engine temperature. Very important elements in drifting, but uh, mysteriously they aren't there. Too bad, because they could add more depth uh, in the gameplay. Career mode unlocks trucks and cars, uh, which you have to buy with in-game uh, credits. If you pay for a subscription with real money, you get a discount to the prices in-game, but uh, considering the soul of this game is the online part, I really don't feel to pay for it. Talking about features, you can act independently from the front and rear brakes, and uh, you can turn on the lights, the basics. There aren't voices or a radio engineer. Talking about rules, uh, the game evaluates your drift with points and point multiplier and other bonus. If you keep the track or you do a 180 degree spin or you touch your opponents, 
you have failed the drift. Apart from that, uh, there aren't other reels. Car X Racing Drift Online gives you both arcade and simulation elements. So, arcade plus simulation, uh, it's a sim arcade. Gran Turismo slogan is the real driving simulator, but uh, it's a sim arcade. Car X Racing Drift Online slogan is the real drifting simulator, but uh, like a Gran Turismo, it's uh, just a slogan. This game is very immediate and not too hard for beginners if they enable the driving assist. Moreover, this game is controller friendly. In fact, uh, I played it uh, with controller most of time. Is it a bad game? A be absolutely not. Is it a good game? Yes, but only if you play it online. Obviously, you can play it offline in single player, especially to unlock money, cars and trucks. But after 10 hours I, it could start uh, being boring and uh, repetitive. So when you buy it I suggest you to play it online. For the rest uh, it's a very simple game. For that reason I wish it uh, more depth and feature to the gameplay. But uh, considering the low price of this game, Car X Racing Drift Online, it's a good deal. Even for people like me who want to approach uh, the drift discipline for the very first time. <laughs> 